One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike, you as the most beautiful. Out of your vulnerabilities, will come your strength. Words have a magical power. They can either bring the greatest happiness, or the deepest despair. Being entirely honest, with oneself is a good exercise. We choose not randomly each other. We meet only those, who already exists in our subconscious. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive, and will come forth later in uglier ways. The only person with whom, you have to compare ourselves, is that you in the past. And the only person better you should be, this is who you are now. The goal of all life, is death. Love and work, work and love, that's all there is. Love, is a state of temporary psychosis. Most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. Psychoanalysis, is an essence a cure through love. Where does a thought go, when it's forgotten? Dreams, are the royal road to the unconscious. I cannot think of any need in childhood, as strong as the need, for a father's protection. Love, and work are the cornerstones of our humanness. We are, what we are because, we have been, what we have been. In the small matters, trust the mind, in the large ones at heart. Maturity, is the ability to postpone gratification. Psychiatry, is the art of teaching people, how to stand on their own feet while, reclining on couches. The mind, is like an iceberg, it floats with one seventh of its bulk, above water. Without love, we fall ill. Not all men, are worthy of love. From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. There, are no mistakes. The voice of reason is small, but very persistent. Religion, is a universal obsessional neurosis. How bold one gets, when one is sure of being loved. Where it was, their ego shall be. I prefer the company of animals, more than the company of humans. Certainly, a wild animal is cruel. But to me merciless is a privilege of civilized humans. The paranoid, is never entirely mistaken. It is not attention, that the child is seeking, but love. The sexual life of adult women, is a dark continent for psychology. All family life is organized, around the most damaged person in it. The voice of the intellect is a soft one, but it does not rest until, it has gained a hearing. If youth knew, if age could. The first requisite of civilization, is that of justice. Time spent with cats, is never wasted. A strong egoism, is a protection. There is a powerful force within us, an unilluminated part of the mind, separate from the conscious mind, that is constantly at work molding our thought, feelings, and actions. If you, can't do it, give up. I've been a fortunate man in life. Nothing has come easily. The only shame in masturbation, is the shame of not doing it well. Everywhere, I go I find that a poet has been, there before me. A piece of creative writing, like a daydream, is a continuation of, and a substitute for, what was once the play of childhood. The liberty of the individual, is no gift of civilization. It was greatest before there was any civilization. Poets are masters of us ordinary men, in knowledge of the mind, because they drink at streams, which we have not yet made accessible to science. If you want your wife to listen to you, then talk to another woman, she will be all ears. The madman, is a dreamer awake. Dreams, are often most profound, when they seem the most crazy. Loneliness, and darkness have just robbed me of my valuables. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness, 
or deepest despair, they can transfer knowledge from teacher to student. Words enable the orator to sway his audience, and dictate its decisions. Words are capable of arousing the strongest emotions, and prompting all men's actions. A father's death, is the most important event, the more heartbreaking, and poignant loss in a man's life. History, is just new people making old mistakes. Crystals reveal their hidden structures, only when broken. Anxiety in children, is originally nothing other than an expression of the fact, they are feeling the loss of the person they love. Two hallmarks of a healthy life, are the abilities to love and to work. Each requires imagination. Dreams, are the guardians of sleep, and not its disturbers. The ego, is not master in its own house. Civilization began the first time, an angry person cast a word instead of the rock. To be completely honest, with oneself is the very best effort a human, being can make. The dream, is a liberation of the spirit from the pressure of external nature, a detachment of the soul from the fetters of matter. Were we fully to understand the reasons, for other people's behavior, it would all make sense. The poor ego, has a still harder time of it, it has to serve three harsh masters, and it has to do its best to reconcile the claims, and demands of all three. The three tyrants are the external world, the superego, and the id. The Irish, are the one race for which psychoanalysis is of no use whatsoever. Because they already live in a dream world. A civilization, which leaves so large a number of its participants unsatisfied, and drives them into revolt neither has, nor deserves the prospect of a lasting existence. All that matters is love, and work. Dreams, are constructed from the residue of yesterday. Writers write for fame, wealth, power, and the love of women. In mourning, it is the world which has become poor, and empty, in melancholia it is the ego itself. Men, are more immoral than they think, and far more immoral than they can imagine. The news that reaches your consciousness, is incomplete and often not to be relied on. Turn your eyes inward, look into your own depths, learn first to know yourself. Only the real, rare, true scientific minds can endure doubt, which is attached to all our knowledge. When inspiration does not come to me, I go halfway to meet it. Sometimes a cigar, is just a cigar. All giving is asking, and all asking is an asking for love. My love, is something valuable to me, which I ought not to throw away without reflection. Words, and magic were in the beginning one, and the same thing, and even today words retain much of their magical power. The virtuous man contents himself with dreaming, that which the wicked man does in actual life. The conscious mind may be, compared to a fountain playing in the sun, and falling back into the great subterranean pool of subconscious, from which it rises, 